Hello, this is Clint Halstead, and this is an internet course called Introduction to Microprocessors. And I'm just going to give some updates, uh, some simulator tips for MPLAB X uh, on the watch window and the trace function. Previously, if you watched some of the previous lessons, then I had some difficulty with both the watch window and the trace feature, and I do have an update for that. I uh, put in a ticket to microchip. And you can see, you can see here that uh, you can go onto Microchip's website and you can put in a technical support ticket, and they're really good at responding back to you. So <clears throat> the question I had for them was, I couldn't get the trace feature to work, and um, the cr they wanted me to update my version. The current version I had was MPLAB X 1.4, and um, the, if you go inside of if you if you go inside MPLAB X, then you should have this trace trace feature. But what the technical support lady said to me in the next message was that um, in fact, indeed, the trace option is not available when ASM is selected in the compiler. Uh, she said if you use the uh, XC8 or high tech pick compile then you, then you have the trace feature will show up and she said she was going to try to get back with me but then um, she did get back with me and, and, and she said at the moment we don't have support for the ASM uh, trace feature so hopefully that's something that they're going to to work on and then I asked her another question about the watch window and the watch window uh, she said in order to because the problem we had with the watch window was we could not type in the, the variable names. For example, if you declared a variable called pointer uh, at a file register location, you know, 10, then you couldn't just type in the name, and I'll show you that shortly. You couldn't just type in the name pointer and get it to show up in the watch window. You actually had to type 0x10 to get it to show up. But what she told me was you can build your co code as relocatable and declare your variables using relocatable directives such as udata, idata, etc. But uh, I was not really familiar with those two uh, commands, but I could I could research that and use those. Or you could also just she said you could build the code as absolute. And the way you do that is you go to Project Properties, MPASM Global Options, and then Build in Absolute Mode. And then you can use uh, a similar directive such as equate and C block. So I typically use equate. That's the most common. That's the one we've learned so far is the equate statement. So let's go ahead and try that and show what that looks like. <clears throat> so here's here's a project I have called Flashing LEDs 3. And um, <clears throat> you can see here you can get this code again off of the website called www embeddednowhow.com you can get you can get that that was under chapter 5 I believe 5.8 flash, flashing LEDs 3 so you can get that code and you can build that <clears throat> and you can notice that we have this variable called pointer uh, equate 10 and you can see down here that I've, I went ahead and added it let's delete it and see see how can we add that first off first thing you have to do is you have to go to your project settings which is the wrench or you can go to file uh, let's see where was that at I think it was, oh, you can right click here and then go to oh well edit well I'm, I'm, for, I'm not really seeing where's that at project settings oh there it is project properties Sorry about that. Project properties, or you can go to the wrench icon. So either way will work just fine. So I usually go to the wrench icon to do that. Now notice that if you click the wrench icon, everything seems to be grayed out. Okay, nothing seems to be. You can't really click on anything and get it to work. You can see down here, there's no, you can't fill in any data, and it happens all the time. And the only thing you have to do is you have to push the stop button. Sometimes you have to push it twice because if you've built your code and then you've clicked the run button then 
it just it, then it won't let you change any of the project settings. So just make sure <coughs> that you're you, you stop that before you go in here and try to change it. Now if you hit if you click, hit the wrench icon, then you go in and you you click on MPASM Global Options, and you have to check mark this this option that says Build in Absolute Mode. If you click click Build in Absolute Mode. <coughs> And then you, you can rebuild your program. Okay. Now once you get it built, now you can go go down in here and you can open your watch window. And we already talked about how to open up a watch window. You you just go to window and then debugging and then you click watches and it'll open up a watch window. And then you right click. Oh, actually you don't have to right click. You can do new watch if you want. If you do new watch then you're supposed to be able to see these global symbols under, under here but you can't. But what you can do is you can just type them in. So you can type in pointer, okay, and hit enter, and you can see now it added it because before, it, well, actually before I think it added it too, but actually when you ran it, it actually didn't work. So now when you actually go to run it and then you pause it, you can see now that pointer has a, a real value. And before you noticed that we had to actually just type in 0x10 you can see that uh, pointer and 0x10 are one and the same. They're one, they're, um, sorry, you can actually move this up here if you want. Just uh, left click on it, drag it, and well, maybe we have to, maybe I have to stop it. Let's see if I can move it up here. Well, I guess you can't. I thought you could. At one point you could, but now it's not letting me for some reason. <clears throat> Well, anyway, you can see that the, the value of a pointer and this 0x10, which we were using before, they're exactly the same value. So that's that's kind of the workaround that I found for getting the, the watch window feature to work with assembly. Now, a lot of these features work with, uh, sounds like from, from her email, the support lady's email, it sounds like you know a lot of these features are supported in, in C, but... Uh, Maybe it's just something they overlooked in assembly. I don't really know what the deal is. And hopefully they're going to get that, that working in assembly at a later point. That's all I have for right now. And that's an update to some previous uh, information that I, that I gave on the simulator in MP Lab X. Thank you.